Okay. Testing, 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 testing. Okay. It is opening day of Earth 2019, and I am here inside the Mind of Matt. Once again, Victor and I are here. Uh, there's so much activity going on. Everything has been opened up to the public. So we're going to make our way through this place, and we're going to be interviewing all kinds of people. So stick around. Make sure that you're subscribed. Hit that like button and stay tuned because there's going to be more inside the mind of Matt right here at Earth 2019. So the first interview for today will be Rob Mink. And he has the biggest piper that I've seen. And he's going to tell about us. So what do you got here? How about just just tell us what your inspiration, tell us what you got going on here. This is amazing. Well, thanks, Matt. It's uh, um, obviously a piper tool changing. There's no machine parts in it at all. It uses a wing nut for the locking action, which is different from just about every other uh, um, tool changer that I've seen. Um, all the parts are 3D printed, um, and uh, it uses Clipper with uh, Raspberry Pis, of course. It's got uh, um, nine print heads, three of which are direct drive. It's got two volcanoes. It's got an experimental head that we'll talk about later, a laser head and a CNC head. Wow. And from... I don't even know where to start to ask. There's so many things I want to know about this, but mm -hmm. um, you obviously used the, the base Piper design and then you just went nuts with it. I mean, what's your background? What's your experience? What's your, what, what do you do for a living? Okay. Um, I run an IT shop and uh, um, IT computer repair shop in a little town. And uh, I'm a studying electrical engineer at ODU um, with a minor in computer science but uh, I've been married for 10 years and everything else, so I'm kind of back that, just getting it done eventually. Um, but uh, that's my background. Um, yeah. And you just decided that one day you were gonna take this 3D printer made out of electro conduit and make it with nine heads. Yes. I started with the one with five heads. Ah, we'll get a close up on that next. And so it start, went, like one to five? Yes. And then five to nine? Five to nine, yes. I mean, obviously we've made some tweaks to it. We have the uh, vertical um, X rods instead of the standard horizontal for the Piper build. Um, and uh, some other things too, rearranged home switches. And uh, of course the tool changer with the dual pipes in the back to support all the weight for the tool changer heads and everything else. But uh, um, yeah. And how long of a design, I mean, I'm not asking for like exact, but how long do you think it took you to actually go from, from point A to point B? Well, we finished that printer in about March, and that's when we started this one. Okay. So we've been working on it for, what, about six months? Awesome. Now, I, I was the multiple instances of Octoprint that I seen on a computer at one point, does that have anything to do with this right here? No, it was just uh, um, for that one, this one, and that one. The polar printer, the tool changer, and the bigger tool changer. That's why I had three instances of, of uh, uh, Octoprint up. Gotcha. So it just runs on one instance. Just one instance of Octoprint with Clipper, just like a standard printer. Huh. And as far as the Clipper development, uh, did you get a lot of help from the group as far as that goes? Uh, the group was very helpful with a couple of the little bugs I had, um, but I use extensive use of Google and coding background and everything else to come up with the scripts for tool changing and everything else. So, Very cool. Now, is there some place where people can find you if they wanted to, to see more about your multi-changer? Absolutely. We have, a, um, on my business card here, we have a tiny URL at the bottom, which will go to my Facebook, not my Facebook, my YouTube uh, channel. And from the YouTube, there's links for Thingiverse and uh, GitHub, where I have all the scripts and parts and everything else that Alex didn't design all of my own stuff. Now, as far as the case, uh, that all part of like your design as well. This, the wood? No, that's all Alex. Okay. That's all Alex. Um, unfortunately, the wood wasn't cut very well. I got it cut at Lowe's. Okay. Because um, I didn't want to get my table saw out and do it, but. It's fit awesome. In my car. 
And uh, how did you get it here? In the back of a 25-year-old van. All one piece? All one piece. We had to flip it on its side to get it out of my house because it's about a half an inch shorter than my biggest door is wide. <laughs> well, very cool. I appreciate you talking, and I hope that your experience at Earth is great. Thank you. You too. Awesome, buddy. Thank you.